welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and I'm the mom of muscle. And if you want to get some inspiration for styling your entryway, just keep on watching. updated a styling video for the entryway in quite some time so I figured it'd be really fun as we are entering into spring giving you guys some new inspiration but before we get into today's video please be sure to like comment and subscribe you know hit that bell button for every time I upload a video and if you're not already following me on Instagram I would love to have you over at mom of muscle without further ado let's get into this video so the entryway is a very important aspect of your home it is the first thing that most people see when they walk in so styling your entryway is very important so I want to bring you guys some different styles everything that I'm utilizing today these styles are items I already own some of them will be new to you as I do have a couple of new items that I have incorporated into my home recently everything will be linked down in the description box if I can link it by style so I'm gonna try to do about five styles for you specs on my entryway so I get questions about, about this all the time Time. My paint color on my home is Worldly Gray by Sherwin Williams. The mirrors here are new. These are a double arched mirror uh, from Amazon. And the console table is from Restoration Hardware. It is a 60 inch entryway table. It has a marble Carrera top with a brass base. And this is the Thaddeus collection from RH. So those are kind of the starting specs before we get into styling. But let's get to style number one. <laughs> One, I absolutely love this style. It has every single aspect when it comes to styling an entry table. I have different heights, I have different texture, I have different colors. It really does hit all the bases and I am absolutely loving it. So let's start on this side. So this lamp is from Studio McGee. I believe this is still in stores. This was from her spring line last year. To the right of that lamp are two different dishes. I have a vintage marble dish, which you guys will recognize. And then I also have that marble Amazon dish that I got from my Amazon haul and then I also used my rice trick on this particular style just giving that little smaller dish an elevated look if you wanted you could add a candle to that with some wick cutters if not you could style it just as is I like it just as is a little bit more simplistic and then moving over to this side of the style I have these black rod iron candlesticks. This trio is from Amazon. I think they were like $20, extremely inexpensive with just a white tapered candlestick. And then the coffee table books, I have Homebody and I have Curate, also from Amazon. On top of that, I have my newest Amazon vessel. I love this vessel so much. And then I just stuck some foliage that I got from Hobby Lobby a few weeks ago. So especially with this look, this foliage kind of gives it more of an asymmetrical look. If you guys see it closely, it is longer on one side. So it kind of cascades down the side of the entry table, which I love. But this is style number one. Let's do style number two. style number two and let's start with this side so I'm sure a lot of people are gonna ask me about this moment right here and all I did this is a DIY so the white vessel is from Amazon and what I did was this was an olive bush from Studio McGee's collection last year and I was just kind of over the gray vessel everybody has it so I decided to cut the bush actually out of the container and then I just did a DIY into this vessel that I got on Amazon so the bushes in styrofoam, you just cut it out and then I just placed moss on top of that to give it this kind of freshly new and updated look. So that is this moment. And then to the right of that, I have the same coffee table books. I have Curie and Homebody. And then I have this little candle moment. So the little marble dish here, kind of in a light beige color, is from Sudo McGee's Spring Line. I have a burning candle, my match cloach that I got from um, Modern Wear Market and my wick cutters. And then on this style, I have my Trio Candle Rod Iron Candlesticks from Amazon. They can be shopped at Hobby Lobby as well. And then to the side of that, I just have this little moment that I created as well. This gray bit, this, this kind of gray-like pot is from a garden store. And then the bush inside that is actually from Ikea that I got quite a while ago. So I love this. It's got texture, color, a lot going on, but there's a lot of visual interest. 
Again, I'm playing with height, I'm playing with texture, different materials, so this is style number two. Just, I'm, I've got my like creative juices going right now and I'm like all about it. So starting on the side, same exact lamp. This is from a Studio McGee. Now the artwork behind it, this maybe doesn't go with this style, but to be honest, I have zero artwork in my home. It's either family portraits or gigantic, like seven foot tall horse pictures. So this is actually from my old backdrop. It's right here on the other side of this wall. And these are all DIY abstract artwork that I painted. So I kind of pop that off the wall set it here behind the lamp and then next to that is the black wood links that i actually got from amazon those were in my most recent amazon haul same books curate and homebody and then on top of this i did a candle with a glass cloche on top now you obviously will not be able to burn a candle with the cloche there on top of it but i just love it for the look and the style of it when the candle is not burning obviously when you want to go ahead and burn that you just remove that cloche but Love this centerpiece. And then moving into this last portion, this is one of my black vintage vessels that I got from an antique shop here in San Diego. I added some lavender. These are faux lavender stems from Hobby Lobby, I'm trying to bring in some springtime and some different color and texture. And then to the side of that, I have this really cute little kind of wooden hand carved basket that I got from Home Goods. So again, I'm bringing in texture, I'm bringing in color, I'm bringing in different heights. And don't be afraid to mix and match. Don't be afraid to kind of see what works, what doesn't work. And I, it's visually appealing and I love it. So this is style number three. All right, you guys, and here is style number four. This is definitely more of an organic approach to styling an entry table. So if you love mixing kind of like raw woods and iron, this is going to be the style for you. This is the Pottery Barn vessel that I got back uh, last fall. Absolutely love this vessel. This is one of my most favorite ones to style with because the opening is so small that you don't need a ton of stems and it's just, it can be alone or by you putting foliage in it makes a big difference as well. So one of my favorite vessels. Now the foliage that is in the vessel is from Hobby Lobby. These are in a kind of off green, a hunter green, dark green with a little bit of speckling of a lighter citrine color within that. I did get them recently, so be on the hunt at your local Hobby Lobby. And then to the right of that, this is a vintage vessel that I got from an antique shop here in San Diego. You have two contrasting colors. You have the terracotta on the bottom, and then you have that kind of dark forest green on the top. We all know green is going to be the color there for 2022, so love bringing in a little bit of a pop of color. And then I just have my sister's burning everyday candle here. I love this candle. If you are on the hunt for a really great, clean burning candle, be sure to check out her website. She has the most amazing home decor as well as really yummy smelling candles. And then to the right of that, I have my wrought iron candlesticks from Amazon again. I absolutely love styling with these candlesticks. You don't need an actual candlestick within it for it to be complete. It is just beautiful in a standalone moment. And then to the right of that, I have this amazing raw wood, just riser, wood riser. It is stunning, made in India. I got this also from a vintage shop here in San Diego, but I'm honestly gonna have a very hard time figuring out what style is going to be the one that sticks, but this is style number four. And I hope I have to say I love all of them. I don't know which one I'm gonna keep, but starting with the vessel, this is actually the same vessel brand that I got from Amazon. This is from Home Depot. It is like a white glazed, kind of speckly texture with a gray, light gray top lip. Very substantial in weight. It is so neutral that it typically goes with anything you put it with. Now the stems within the vessel are from Hobby Lobby. I have talked about these before my channel. They're in a willow eucalyptus in a very muted kind of sage green. I think they are absolutely stunning. They're very whimsical, very minimal. Those are the stems. And then next to that, I have two different coffee table books. I have This Is Home and I have Still. And one thing that I was kind of messing with in this look is I like that it's not perfect. I've always styled it where the books are 
um, like this where they're you know perfectly stood upright whereas I was kind of messing with it and I'm like I kind of like that it's not perfectly stacked together so I have one of the books kind of off center there and then next to that I have a mortar next to that from an antique shop here in San Diego and then moving over to this side I decided to flip flop the lamp I've been doing all the styling on this side with the lamp but I'm like I'm gonna mix it up and style the lamp on the right side of the entryway. So on this side, I have again my curate and my homebody coffee table books there. And then on top of that, I have a vintage dish, kind of in a kind of in an abstract shape. I have my sister's candle burning there in the center of that. And then around my candle, I have all of my good energy moments. I have my quartz crystals in a bunch of different sizes. Then I have my Palo Santo stick and one of my um, smudge sticks there, my sage stick there, as well for good energy. That is that little moment, and then of course I have that Studio McGee lamp there to the right of that as well. So that is the fifth and final look for you guys. All right, you guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoy. Hopefully you got some inspiration. You guys know I love doing videos like this. I love getting creative. I love bringing inspiration and creativity to my channel. Hopefully I've inspired you to maybe rearrange your entryway and bring some of the styles that I did in today's video into your home. And if you guys do try to recreate my styles, please tag me on Instagram. And I am starting to use a hashtag that actually one of my subscribers recommended. It's going to be nailed it. So if you do recreate any of my looks or if there's anything that I've inspired you to buy or to bring into your home or to style with, please tag me, use my hashtag nailed it. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoy. I love you so, so much and we'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.